Hi guys, see this high frequency transformer. Let's take a look at its magnetic core. In the middle of the magnetic core, there is a small gap. Do you know what it is? Right, we call it air gap. The core next to it, however, is sealed and has no air gap. So why do we open this air gap to the high frequency transformer? And what exactly is the use of the air gap? In simple terms, it is to prevent magnetic saturation. But it also increases leakage inductance and reduces efficiency. Figuratively speaking, we can describe energy as water. And a core without an air gap is similar to a water pipe. The water flows in and then flows out directly. And the core cannot store energy. While a core with an air gap in the middle is equivalent to a reservoir. The air gap is equivalent to a dam. When the water comes in, it is intercepted and cannot flow out. After a while. We stopped the water input and started to release the water. This time the water can flow out of the reservoir. The magnetic resistance of air is relatively high. And when the energy tries to pass through here it is intercepted and then stored. The air gap is basically used in flyback high frequency transformers. However, there are also a small number of very narrow air gaps. Which are used in high power forward transformers. Then, we will take a closer look at the energy storage role of air gap. First of all. We all know that the air gap is generally used in flyback transformers. The flyback transformer works by storing energy in the positive half and then releasing it in the negative half. And where is the energy stored in the transformer? It is stored in the air gap. In the transformer, if the core is assembled into the bobbin, does the whole structure form a closed circuit? Then the magnetic reluctance of these two sides is very small. The middle is air compared with this core. The permeability of air is much lower. So its reluctance is relatively large. When the gap becomes larger, the inductance will be smaller and more energy will be stored. Here we mention a new concept called magnetic reluctance, which is the resistance of the magnetic path to the magnetic flux. Magnetic reluctance and resistance in a circuit are somewhat similar. Look, this is a circuit which has a resistor and a power supply as well as a switch. With the switch closed, most of the electrical energy is trapped in the resistor and is converted into heat. What if the resistor is replaced with a small bulb? When the circuit is switched on, the small light bulb is lit. This is when the electrical energy is converted into light energy, like a circuit. In a magnetic circuit, most of the magnetic energy is trapped where the magnetic reluctance is high. This is the reason why the air gap is able to store energy. Next, I will introduce to you the advantages and disadvantages of the two methods of making our gap for the transformers. The first is this way of grinding the middle column, which we always show you. The second is to use this kind of magnetic core without air gap. Through the way of insulating material on both sides, after cushioning, it is equivalent to opening free air gaps. Then what are the advantages and disadvantages of these two ways? Let's first introduce the advantages and disadvantages of this way of grinding your gap. First of all, let's introduce to you the advantages. The advantage is that it has high stability and is not greatly affected by cold and heat. Also because it is wrapped by the coil, the magnetic flux leakage will be less. Because the circle around the core is closed, the energy of the magnetic field can hardly leak out. For the disadvantages, first, if you need to adjust the size of the air gap, it needs to grind. In relatively speaking, it will be more troublesome. The adjustment is not convenient like the part which have no cushion air gap. In addition, due to the edge magnetic flux effect of the air gap, there will be any current effect on the winding. And the heat dissipation of the winding around the air gap will be more difficult. So the temperature rise in the middle of the air gap is too high. And the efficiency will become relatively low. Then how to solve this problem? For example, the yeah type, when connected into a closed loop like this, the air gap opens on one side of the core, so it can be solved by winding on the other side, to avoid the air gap. However, the E type cannot avoid the air gap after putting it into the transformer skeleton. What should we do? It can be solved by winding multiple strands of thin thread. That is to say, a thin thread is used in the middle, and the tight point is wound. These two ways solve this problem to some extent. There is also a magnetic column of another material in the air gap. To solve the problem of edge flux effect, the way of grinding air gap is generally used in small power transformers. The air gap does not need to be too large. The way of grinding air gap can reduce magnetic flux leakage.
Now, let's go on to explain the advantages and disadvantages of air gap. The air gap of the cushion is generally symmetrical on both sides. Due to the dispersion of the air gap, it can effectively reduce the leakage inductance and reduce the influence of the edge magnetic flux of the air gap. So the efficiency is higher. Moreover, the edge pillars are in the air and dissipate heat faster. So the temperature rise of the overall transformer will be lower. So is this kind of cushion air gap better than grinding the middle column? That's not necessarily true. The way of cushioning the air gap also has many disadvantages. First, the stability is poor, which will be greatly affected by thermal expansion and cold contraction. And there is an air gap around. The magnetic field energy will leak directly into the air. It is obvious that EMI will be more difficult to meet the requirements than grinding the air gap. If this situation is to be avoided, low power transformers can be solved by cladding copper foil. Just like this, wrap the copper foil around the transformer and secure it with duct tape. But this will slightly reduce the efficiency of the transformer. The original intention of the copper foil is to short circuit the magnetic flux leakage and convert the magnetic energy into heat energy, which is consumed in the form of heat on the copper foil. At this time, someone may ask, will the copper foil heat too much and burn out the transformer? In fact, for low power transformers, as long as the process of the transformer is not too bad, magnetic leakage will not be too outrageous, and not so much magnetic energy will be converted into thermal energy. That means the copper foil won't get too hot, and that kind of high power transformer cannot be used in this way. On the one hand, the copper foil efficiency is greatly reduced. On the other hand, the copper foil will be too hot, which may burn out the transformer. It can only be as far away from the more sensitive components as possible. This way of cushion air gap is mainly used in large power transformers. The air gap needs to be open relatively large. At this time the way of cushion air gap will be better. The work efficiency will be higher. BZ Trafo is specialized in manufacturing transformers for 15 years. We have our own automatic grinding air core equipment which is greatly shortened our production time and make the production more effective. Welcome to visit our website to know us better.